Hi everyone, myself Vamsi Krishna. In this session, I am going to show you how to create Amazon EKS cluster. I already did a session on how to create Amazon EKS cluster, but I am going to show you how many ways are there to create a EKS cluster, and then I am going to use EKS CTL to create EKS cluster. Basically, if you see the Amazon documentation, here we have creating an Amazon EKS cluster. And in the prerequisite section, you can see that you must have AWS CLI version 1.16.156 or later, or the AWS IAM Authenticator installed. Okay. Basically, you need to install AWS CLI or AWS IAM Authenticator. Or else, you can create a cluster with EKS CTL the AWS Management Console or the AWS CLI. AWS CLI approach, I already did a video. You can refer my previous videos. In this session, we are going to specifically focus on creating a cluster with EKS CTL. Whatever the steps that are mentioned here, I created my own readme file. I am going to refer this readme file. You can refer to github.com slash cloudtechmasters slash EKS hyphen cluster setup. We are going to follow this uh, readme file to create the cluster. And if you want, you can still refer the Amazon documentation. I just uh, copied the steps from the Amazon documentation and I created my own uh, readme file. Let us get started with the implementation steps one by one. Step one. Basically, as mentioned in the prerequisite, we need to have AWS CLI installed. For that, we need a EC2 instance. Step one, we need to create a EC2 instance. And if you have big applications where you have um, uh, different different builds, you have to use some higher uh, instance. If you are just creating the setup, you can do using t2. Dot, uh, medium or t2. Dot large as well. But for this particular session, I'm going to use t2.xlarge. You can still do with t2.medium also. Go to instances, launch instance. I'm selecting Amazon Linux 2. And I'm selecting t2.xlarge, where I will get four CPUs and 16 GB memory. You can still go ahead with t2.medium as well. Review and launch, launch. This is my key pair. Perfect. Click on this server and I'm going to name this server as EKS CLI. Okay. EKS CLI server just for my convenient purpose. You can name it anything. Scroll right, copy the IP and connect to the server using mobile external session ssh remote host specify username ec2 hyphen user advanced ssh settings use private key i am going to use my key pair perfect now i connected to the ec2 instance step number 1 is done we have a EC2 instance and it is done. Step number two, we need an IAM role so that EC2 instance can connect to EKS cluster for creating a cluster. Basically, IAM role is needed for us with admin policy I am taking. This IAM role is needed because EC2 is a different service and EKS cluster is a different service. When one service connects, when ser one service tries to connect to another service, definitely we need permission. That permission is nothing but policy. And I'm, 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 I'm going to create a role with admin policy so that we can connect to EKS cluster. Let me go ahead and create an IAM role. Go to services, IAM role. Perfect. Go to roles. Create role. 
allow EC2 instances to call AWS services on your behalf. Next permissions. I'm going to give administrator access for this. Administrator access. Next to tag review. I will say EC2 role. EC2 role for accessing EKS cluster. You can keep any name. I'm giving EC2 role for accessing EKS cluster. Click on create role. Now role is also created. Now go to the EC2 instances and attach this role. Go to EC2 and attach the role whatever we just created now. Running instances. Select the server and go to actions, instance settings, modify IAM role. You can select EC2 role for accessing EKS cluster, click on save. Perfect, this step is also done. Now, next step is we need to install kubectl, copy these commands and install kubectl. kubectl is done. Once kubectl is also installed, as we are trying to install EKS cluster using EKCTL, we need to download EKCTL as well. We are just installing EKCTL as well. EKCTL is also done, perfect. Now, we need to create a cluster using EKCTL command. This is my command. If you want, you can change the cluster name according to your choice. Let me keep it and I'm going to say EKS cluster demo. Okay. I'm going to create EKS cluster demo. And if you want to create a three node cluster, use three zones. US East 1C as well. If you want to create two node cluster, you can use two zones. If you want to create three node cluster, still you can do with two zones. But if you keep three availability zones, your master will be highly available in all the zones. Okay. And I'm going to mention without node group. Basically, this command is going to create EKS cluster master setup for us. In the next step, we are going to add nodes. This command needs cluster name, region. I'm going to do in US East one. Jones, I'm giving US East 1A, 1B, 1C. If you are doing in Mumbai, you need to use AP South 1A without node group. Let me run this command. Perfect. Now, our cluster is going to get created. Basically, whenever we execute this command, what happens is internally it will create a cloud formation template. Let me show you the cloud formation template. Once the cloud formation template stack is created, then our master will be ready. Click on cloud formation. See now whatever the name we have given EKS cluster demo, it is creating a stack with that name. Click on the stack. We need to wait until this stack gets finished. It takes minimum 10 to 15 minutes time. We need to wait until that time. I'm going to pass this video until this cluster gets created. Until the master is ready, I'm going to pass the video. Perfect. Now, if you see our cloud formation template is uh, created, now we can verify the Elastic Kubernetes service, whether this cluster is ready or not. This will basically create a master. Okay, we are, have to add the nodes. If you see here, our cluster name is EKS cluster demo and the version is 1.17 and the status is active. Now, once our cluster is active, next we need to approve we need to add 
IAM OIDC provider. Let me show this as well. Let me replace the cluster name. I am just using this cluster name, EK cluster demo. This is my cluster demo. Basically, why do we need this IAM provider is AWS IAM supports federated identities using OIDC. OIDC is nothing but open ID connector. This patch, this feature allows us to authenticate AWS API calls with supported identity providers and receive a valid OIDC JSON web tokens. Basically, this is for IAM roles for service accounts. Basically, we are allowing this as well. Copy this and allow OIDC provider as well. This is almost done. Once this is done, we'll approve the OIDC provider. If you want, you can take a new tab as well. Yeah, this is done. Now approve the OIDC provider. This is approved. Okay, this is for IAM, for security purpose, all these things. We approve this as well. Now, next thing is we have master ready. Next, we need to add the nodes. Whatever we created is just a master. Now we need to create the node group. Copy the node group command and change the cluster name. Whatever you want, you can keep your cluster name. My cluster name is EKS cluster demo. This is my cluster name. And you need to give the node group. I'm going to say EKS. I'm going to say EKS node group one. You can add lot of node group. I'm going to say EKS node group one. As a part of node group one, I'm selecting my node type as T2 dot medium. I'm going to select my node type as T2 dot medium. If you want, you can select T2 dot large as well. Anything is fine. Depending upon your um, workload, you need to select your node type as t2.medium or t2.large or t2.xlarge. And I'm going to create three nodes, three node cluster. And minimum I am taking three nodes. Maximum I am taking five nodes. And SSH public key. When you want to connect your nodes, what is the public key which you want to connect? In my case, let me go to EC2. You have to use your key pair. Whatever the key pairs you have with you, you need to use any of those key pairs to connect to the nodes. You need to mention with which key pair you want to connect to the node. I want to connect to the node with this key pair. That's why I'm going to mention this. When you are doing on your side, you, you have to keep your key pair name, not my key pair name. Whatever the key pairs you have, you have to keep that as the SSH public key. And this is a managed node. Basically, we are not creating this node. It is a managed node. It will create automatically. And we are giving a couple of extra options for the node. ASG access is nothing but auto scaling group access. External DNS access we are giving so that we can link our node with Route 53 as well. Full ECR access we are giving. ECR is nothing but elastic container registry. If at all you want to download any Docker images from ECR in the node also, you are giving permission for ECR. And you are giving permission for app mesh. If you want to implement Istio on this cluster, you are giving access for Istio as well with app mesh and ALB ingress access we are giving uh, if you want to use application load balancer for your ingress controller we have to give this access this is our node group the with this command we are going to create three nodes of type t2 dot large and uh, we are able to, we are using this key pair to connect to it and these five access we are giving for the node auto scaling group external dns full ecr app mesh and alb ingress controller in the coming videos i'm going to do on external dns istio ingress everything i'm going to do in other videos copy this command and execute it here so that your node group will start creating 
the nodes even this also will create a cloud formation template once this cloud formation template is finished you will have three nodes for your kubernetes cluster you can go to your cluster open the cluster and in the compute section you can see the node once the node is created you can see the node group here i am creating three nodes you can see that in the compute section once this is done we need to wait until this cloud formation template is finished once it is finished we should be able to see the node group in the compute section and it will show what is the desired size group name ami everything it will show then we can use kubectl get nodes command to verify whether three nodes are there or not perfect our node group is created we can go to elastic kubernetes service and just refresh this page we should be able to see the node group just refresh this we should be able to see the node group this is node group 1 and desired size is 3 and this is the ami release and our node group is active now you can see the nodes kubectl get nodes perfect we have a three node cluster for our eks managed cluster this is how we should create a cluster and if you want you can see the pods as of now there are no pods these pods will not be there basically we created the cluster now i am going to show you the deletion steps as well when our your work is done when or you want to terminate your cluster you you need to delete the node group and then you need to delete the cluster as well this is the command we need we are focusing on clean up part copy the node group section and for the node group just give your node group name this is my node node group name eks node group 1 and then give the cluster name as well this is my cluster name eks cluster demo run this command this will delete the node group our node group is getting deleted once we delete the node group then we can delete the cluster let me create a command for that finally we can delete the cluster for deleting the cluster again you need to mention the cluster name and you need to mention the region our cluster name is eks cluster demo if you give another name you have to give the same name while deleting as well copy this command and once node group is deleted you can delete the cluster as well this will delete the cluster we'll wait until this cluster gets deleted once the cleanup process is done then your complete cluster is terminated it is deleting node group and it is deleting iam oidc provider and it is deleting the control plane of our cluster as well perfect our cluster is deleted if you want we can check here as well go to elastic kubernetes cluster service screen our cluster is also deleted thanks everyone for watching this video